Video of the attacks, the violent abductions and murders have found their way onto social media. It's been causing a lot of concern for parents and children because we know they spend time online. Absolutely. News Force Andrew Siff live in lower Manhattan taking a look at what the state's trying to do, Andrew, to crack down on some of these disturbing posts. Right, David. State lawmakers who introduced two new bills today acknowledge it's probably going to be too late to stop the flood of images that schools are warning may be popping up in social media feeds any day now. Images and memes linked to the heartbreak in Israel already on social media. But Israeli-born New York Assemblywoman Neely Rosick fears it's about to get worse. Jewish parents are being told to remove social media apps completely from their phones because there's no way to actually prevent what their children will see. This message from one local school, just one example of hundreds of similar cautions. We understand that Hamas may be planning to release videos, including footage of hostages, through social media outlets such as Instagram, TikTok and others. We wanted to make you aware of this so you can speak with your children about their social media use. We are too late for this cycle. Rosick is co-sponsor of two new bills introduced in New York today. One would expand parental controls, limit children from scrolling during overnight hours, and restore algorithms to what friends are sharing, not outside groups. Algorithms are the new tobacco. Simple as that. One parent today said long before the Israeli conflict, her daughter tried to take her own life after getting exposed to endless amounts of disturbing online content. It took years for our daughter to overcome her social media addiction and to finally recover from her eating disorder, her self-harm, and her attempt to take her own life. The attorney general today saying the potential damage of addictive social media is well documented. Youth who spend more than three hours a day on social media are twice as likely to experience depression and anxiety. As for what could be more awful images out of Israel in the coming days. I would strongly encourage parents to sit down and have a discussion about why we're going to refrain from social media use right now. Meanwhile, Governor Hochul, who supports the new bills, says the Israeli crisis will only ramp up the urgency to try and rein in what young people see. What's unfolding now is, is lends itself to that kind of action, and that's why we all must be vigilant, starting with the companies themselves. And the second bill introduced today would restrict the ability of social media companies to gather data about children, but critics worry about compliance and enforcement. In Lower Manhattan, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.